Hey, it's Steve Hansen here with TheJanitorialStore.com where we help cleaning business owners scale their businesses and build system-reliant companies, not owner-reliant companies. See, I was watching a video uh, on a subject about management and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's quite interesting that uh, how, you know, in this video they were talking about being proactive on hiring and, and uh, you know, and having uh, substitution for people when they call out, um, you know, and all the same old issues that any cleaning company has. Um, you know, and um, so, you know, I guess the point to this video is, is that, you know, it doesn't matter if your business is uh, doing 500000 or if it's doing $5 million. Uh, the big companies have the same issue as the small companies. You know, and the thing that's really interesting is that uh, here you got, if you have a company that's doing $5 million in revenue, they still don't have systems and controls. You know, so how the heck did they even get to $5 million? Uh, you know, that's, that's really the question. Um, but, you know, that it's so true. So don't be thinking that just because you're doing five hundred thousand uh, dollars that uh, that you're kind of like on the, the the lower pecking of, of the of the order because you're not. Uh, you have the same issues that uh, five million dollar companies, ten million dollars, and thirty million dollar companies have in the cleaning industry. So keep that in mind. You know, and it, it's quite interesting that that these larger companies, uh, <laughs> and I see it all the time. Uh, don't have systems in place for simple things such as hiring, you know, uh, sustainability, um, you know, and, uh, the, you know, it's, it's just amazing, you know, uh, the, the things that I see. But, uh, uh, again, my whole point to, to this video is to, uh, to just to inform you that uh, your company, your $500,000 company that you built uh, has the same issues as the large ones and uh, and the large ones have the same issues as you uh, the whole thing that you want to do is that you want to be proactive uh, not reactive and that's one of the biggest problems in the cleaning industry is that uh, many companies uh, become reactive rather than proactive so rather than waiting until you have an issue with hiring or uh, call outs and or quality control um, or anything like that there have a plan. Have your system in place already. Uh, you know, and that's what I, I always tell people um, that, you know, the, the system that you want to develop is the one that's going to move your business forward in the most, in, in the biggest way. So, you know, sit down and create a list of some of these things that you may be having issues with and determine which one of those things are going to move the, if you had them in place and put them into a system, which one of those would actually move your business forward in the in the biggest way? There you go, you know, and just continue to do that. You know, don't be like some of these larger companies that you know five ten million dollar company that uh, <laughs> you know don't have some of the basic systems in place. You know, it's just mind boggling. Uh, here's an example for you. When I sold my last company, a very very large company bought us. They were doing 364 million or whatever the heck it was, a lot of money. That they were doing that much in revenue. They didn't have a timekeeping system. They were always, they were still writing in timesheets. Come on, you know, how did they ever get to 365 million dollars in revenue? You've got me. Um, probably by just by acquisitions. But anyway, you know, I, I was so shocked when I found that out. Uh, here, our company was doing you know, a million dollars in revenue and, uh, <laughs> you know, this very large company, I thought that they would really have their act together. Well, they, they didn't, you know, so, uh, it's, so it's not surprising to me anymore when, when I hear about these, these bigger companies, you know, these $10 million companies that, that don't have the simplest of systems in place, such as hiring system. Um, you know, that, that just blows me away. Uh, you know, or don't have an updated policy manual. I don't get that. You know, or how do they onboard somebody? Um, uh, you know, what the, you know, what what is the uh, uh, the compensation uh, 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 base for uh, for in, for the employees? You know, in all the positions of the of the uh, company, uh, they they some don't even have organizational charts. You know. Uh, it just it just blows my mind away. But uh, anyway, um, just keep that in mind. You know, even though you have a 
a five hundred thousand uh, dollar cleaning company, um, you have the same issues as everybody else. But just be smarter than the big boys. You know, develop your systems now because that's this is when you should be developing them. Is when you're at that, uh, you know, at the hundred thousand dollar mark or even sooner. Actually, when you when you first open up the doors, you should start developing your systems. Uh, once you develop them, then it's a matter of just updating them and keeping them updated as you continue to scale your business. Plain, you know, it's pretty easy. So, you know, uh, as you as you become a hundred thousand dollar company, you got a systems for for whatever it might be. Well, as you become a two hundred fifty thousand dollar company, those systems have changed because uh, uh, because of, of of your growth. The same thing is true as once you're a five hundred thousand dollar company, seven hundred fifty, five million, ten million. You know. So the key is to develop your systems early on. Don't wait till you're a five, ten million dollar company and you're wondering why the heck, uh, you know, you're having issues with uh, with callouts and hiring. That's not the time to develop systems, you know. Uh, and I see that uh, I see that quite often actually because the, these companies, you know, they get so big and they're so focused on growth that they forget about all these basic systems that they should have in place already. And it brings them right to a brick wall. You know, it get, bring, brings them right to a stop. Uh, and in some cases, depending on what what's going on, uh, it it hurts them. They actually lose sales. They lose revenue. So, you know, they could. You know, I know some that have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue because they didn't have some systems in place, and and it really hurt their business. But hey, you know, hey, we're doing five, ten million dollars. Oh, good, good for you, big shot. You know, yeah. What are you doing now? <laughs> so, anyway, I just think it's funny, guys, and I wonder. I just wanted to share this with you uh, because, uh, you know, like I say, you know, you're, the small companies uh, have the same issue as the big ones. You know, if you ever get a chance, talk to a, talk to a larger company, somebody that's doing ten, thirty, fifty, a hundred million dollars in business. They've got the same issues as you. So. Keep that in mind um, and uh, be smart. Be smarter than them. Develop your systems early on. Don't wait till later. So I hope you find this uh, useful. Uh, go ahead and like and share the video. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, post them down below and I'll be happy to answer for you. So until next time, have a good one.